<laughs> Look around. There are different color combinations everywhere. In the clothes that you wear, and the interiors of your home and workplace, or the website pages that we visit. But which colors and patterns do you choose? Well, our next entrepreneur came up with an online tool that has become a multi-million dollar business. I was born and raised on the Big Island, so I'm from Hawaii, but left after high school to go to college and ended up dropping out to work for an internet company. So I saw an opportunity to kind of play in a space and went and did it. But it was about 10 years of stumbling around as an entrepreneur on the mainland, kind of all over in the States, before ending up in San Francisco for the last couple of years where I did Y Combinator, which is a top tier incubator. And I think finally got a sense of the real opportunity for this side project site that I've been kicking around for a long time. So although I built the site, the original version, which is Color Lovers, which is a design community seven years ago, it was a side project for five and it was only about two years ago that we I merged with a couple of other people to do, they were my co-founders and we focused on it, we did Y Combinator. Uh, we spent a year really focused on product, trying to figure out what could be a viable business before raising the first million dollar round that we did uh, in March of the previous year and then continued evolving that product into the marketplace which is Creative Market which we just raised another million and a half for. It's funny to think about a color community that has more than 2.4 million registered users, so more people than the population in the state, I think, or my island at least. And it was a weekend project, it was a goof thing. I built a site for people to rate color squares because I thought it was funny that I like this color blue and you think it's ugly. And it was just this goofy social sharing site, but I built it in a way that let people share their ideas and it was a platform. And then as soon as, in hindsight, if I look at that, it was, became a utility. So designers could come and look for combinations of colors that worked well and it saved them time. But for everybody else, it was just a fun place to share their own ideas. And that the name was Color Lovers, so I didn't think about the branding at the time, but it became a loving, supportive, playful place. It gave people permission to be creative even if they didn't think that they were a designer. So they could combine three colors that they thought were great and then they put it up on the internet and then some other random person across the world thought it was great too and they got this encouragement to create, to continue sharing. So it was unintended weekend project seven years ago that now you know is a legitimate company that has a dozen employees that are kind of all over the United States. And the professionals use it because it's a shortcut for their time. They come in, they put in a keyword Hawaii and they see all these palettes created from a community that they can take and then put into the poster design that they're doing for a local company. But for a lot of the community they're just playing with the design tools because again we're giving them this opportunity to be creative. And we do that by making design tools that anybody can use regardless of skill set, but that the end result becomes beautiful. Uh, we have a pattern design tool. We just make that really simple. Here's a square. If you drag a shape on, wherever you move, it'll tile out perfectly. So we've used those tools to partner with a number of companies that produce physical products so that their community, novice designers, can participate in designing the products for the company. So we had a plaid pattern that we let our community color in. The top rated design became a plaid shirt that a company named Beta Brand produced. I have striped socks on that we created a template of striped socks that was just grayscale, but all you had to do was choose one of the stripes, choose a color, and that produced the striped sock design. And it could be tie designs, we've done business cards. The idea is that the elements of any design are very simple, but the overall project is complex. But there's no reason that the average designer can't just participate in the, in the coloring of it, which is very simple. So the investors we have are angel investors to top tier uh, venture capital firms like CRV, um, Atlas, and um, what they're, you know, they invest in businesses. So this isn't just for the love of color and, and playing. Creative Market, the business that we're building, is a marketplace for design assets. And that is a big business. There's 40 million people that use Adobe Creative Suite and of those that we've surveyed, they spend about $100 to $200 a year on the stuff that they use for their projects. They buy an image that they put on a mug that they buy at Zazzle. They buy an image that they put on their blog. They buy a blog template or a wedding uh, design template. So that business is billions of dollars of people buying these design assets and there isn't right now a great single marketplace for people to buy that content. So what we're building is a, is a marketplace for independent creatives, but it's a really big business.